Okay. Hope everyone had a nice Christmas. Um, hope everyone's going to have a happy new year. New Year's is next Wednesday. Uh, but this finally came in the mail. This was the original, uh, the regular Alex. Of course, I got the regular and the exclusive to complete the collection. And it's pretty much the same box as the exclusive that I already reviewed, except it just doesn't have the sticker saying Player 2 exclusive. Same top, same side, same exact box, same exact bio, same character details, everything's the same. Same logos, of course, you know this is from Jerry Macaluso's company, Pop Culture Shock Collectibles, and Capcom, you know, of course, because it's Street Fighter. This is from the Street Fighter 3rd Strike, Street Fighter 3 game. And there's the side. So, we see it's all the same. The only difference is, he's the regular. And, of course, it's a different number. This one's a nice low number, too. It's number 20 of 175. We see the picture of the regular statue. And we see Alex collectible statue. John Clary was the sculptor. Jerry Macaluso is the owner and president of Pop Culture Shock Collectibles. So there is your certificate of authenticity for the regular Alex. And here he is, folks. I was lucky yet again. Well, somewhat lucky. I got these weird stains on the base. Um, not the end of the world. But, you know... It's not chips in the paint or anything. It's almost like a oil gone on it or something. I don't know. It was in shipping maybe or in the wrapping. I have no idea. But eh, that's the only flaw. <laughs> it's always something, you know. Um, but, you know, luckily he goes on perfectly on the base. Fits nicely. Um, there was nothing wrong with the fabric. Nothing wrong with his fingernails, as some people complained about. Um, nothing wrong with his paint job whatsoever. Got a great paint job, great face, great detail, no problems with the magnets. The hair sticks straight down and the magnets are nicely fastened. I didn't have to put some guy in a review who said he put a matchstick there. Uh, I don't have that problem. So luckily, lucked out in some places and then just, uh, you know, had a minor little flaw, factory defect on the base. I don't know, but other than that, everything else looks great. Boots look great. Pants look great. All the stitching looks good. All the buckles are attached. All the pieces are here. It's great. Can't enjoy this more. I mean, it's a great looking piece. It's the, um, you know, it's the um, regular... I've already reviewed the exclusive, so there's not much difference except that the exclusive is blue and gray or blue and white instead of the green and brown. Uh, this look, he has more of a look like this is his traditional color, of course, his player one colors. Uh, this is the way everyone really knows Alex. Although the exclusive looks really cool with the white hair, too. Um, kind of like a Shinakuma Alex. <laughs> guess that's why I liked it. Fingernails are perfect. Just a magnificent body sculpt. All the paint application on the tattoos, perfect. Not a problem at all. As I said, these guys are magnets. So you can see the magnet there and the magnet there. I don't know if it's going to want to cooperate. Come into focus. There's the magnet. You see the paint on his face is perfect. Paint on his eyes is perfect. And, of course, the magnet goes into place perfectly. No problems with his magnets at all. Great piece. Such an amazing sculpt from John Clary. Great work on the fabric. I mean, they're just making these things really look better and better, you know, with the form-fitting fabric. You know, people complained back in the day that bison was too baggy. I don't know, everyone nitpicks everything. God, especially on the statue form. But nothing really wrong with this guy. It looks great. Like I said, minor factory thing. Maybe I'll message Audrey about that. You know, maybe she'll do something for me. But other than that, um, everything looks great. 
So there you have it. Alex Regula from Pop Culture Shock Collectibles. It's number 20 of 175. Of course, like I already reviewed, you know, the sculpture of the, the musculature and the veins and the arms and everything. Really nice. Great job by John Clare. He's getting better and better. Great art direction by Jerry Macaluso. All their products are just getting better and better. Can't wait to see Balrog. I don't even want to start talking about that. Uh, I'll just leave it alone. So, <laughs> I got a robe exclusive, should have been two, and um, the buffalo exclusive. So, second one, second robe was supposed to be for a friend, and he's not too happy now, but that's all right. Don't want to upset the precious people on the statue for him. So, we'll leave that alone. I'm not going to say anymore. I'm kind of ticked off about that, but back to an amazing statue. You guys have a great evening. Have a happy new year. Uh, appreciate all the support. Have a good 2014, guys. All right, bye. Okay, guys, as promised, a little bonus. Um, some people asked when I did the regular Alex review that I would actually uh, show him next to Zangief displayed. So I, I always try to do what I can. So here's the Street Fighter room, as you see. Of course, you know, the Akumas with their purple light up there. And, you know, the exclusive Pop Culture Shot Sagat, and the exclusive, well, uh, yeah, exclusive Evil Ryu, and then, of course, the two Sagats. You've already seen these in videos, so I'm just kind of just giving you a quick little update now that Alex is here. You know, I got all my busts and my PVC Street Fighter stuff up there, and, um, you know, my three Chun-Li's, the black, blue, and red, and, of course, the two gals. The lighting's horrible because it's late at night. Um, but we got the two guiles. There's Alex right there, exclusive and regular. And you'll see his size next to Zangief. So you can see pretty good in the best of the, how they stand next to Zangief. That's what you guys wanted to see. So there you go. Um, and then of course you got the, uh, you know, you got both, uh, uh, M. Bison's, the black exclusive, which you can barely see because there's no light in there right now. And the, uh, red. You got, you can... Cammy regular, and then the pop culture. No, the corner store comics exclusive green Vega. You can see he's green, or maybe you can't see he's green, or you can, but you know, the lighting's terrible in here right now because I'm not, I wasn't planning on doing a special review. Just a quick little update of the pop culture Street Fighter room. You know, we got the uh, soda Street Fighters up there, as always, and uh, a little bit of Dark Stalkers mixed in. Got my Judge Dread corner over here. <clears throat> my Judge Dread badge. Pretty soon I'll put Judge Death there if he fits. Pretty soon I can't wait to welcome the Akuma vs. Goken diorama. Get him out of here. Um, losing room here with a little one on the way. So, running out of space. I might put him up for sale, the Evil Ryu. If anyone's interested, send me a message. We'll look into it. I'll think about it. I don't know if I want to pot with him yet, but. Definitely going to put a Kuma Goku in there next to the Ryu Sagat Diorama exclusive. Both light up. Got my stuff from Chiseltown Sculpt Studios. Uh, you know, Ibuki, Rose, and Crimson Viper. I love that one. And then down there we got the Oni Akuma and, of course, the uh, Akuma from uh, Hollywood Collectibles Group. I'm not too much of a fan of them. I just bought it because it was Akuma. The lion -O is on eBay, the exclusive lion -O. Uh Jerry discontinued the Thundercats line, and I have no space, but I'm sure uh, there's a Thundercat fan out there that will want this amazing piece. So he's on eBay. And uh, I got Doc Stalkers, my three Doc Stalkers. And then the Marvel stuff over here. And that's it. That rounds up the uh, little mainly Street Fighter pop culture shock collectibles room. Just wanted to show you the Alex with the little update. All right, guys. Next one coming out, I think, uh, for quarter scales, next one to be released will be uh, Dalsim. And then uh, Ballroom. All right, guys. Have a good evening. Happy New Year as well. Bye.